This San Francisco food truck is the latest interpretation of a holiday care package. Care package for me was always something your parents sent you in college. <laughs> Today is Thai coconut curry chicken over rice. Since the start of the COVID crisis, Christian Huang's nonprofit food truck called Mobilized Love has been serving free hot meals to some of San Francisco's most food insecure neighborhoods like Rita Dunn's. Usually we see people all over the globe in Africa starving. Now we're starving right here in America. General, it's a pleasure to hand you this check for $1,500 for this food package for the starving in Europe. The original care package was a box of army surplus rations Americans could buy in 1945 and have shipped overseas to the millions of needy and displaced Europeans after World War II. Over the past 75 years, variations on the care package theme have become part of our vernacular and evolved into a variety of humanitarian assistance programs CARE has been providing to over 100 countries. For the first time in CARE's 75-year history, Americans are now on the receiving end. I think in many ways it has been humbling for us uh, here in the U.S. I think, uh, unfortunately, sometimes there is a perspective that these problems exist everywhere else. Ryan Shepard heads up CARE's newly created U.S. initiatives and recent pivot from just providing assistance globally to acting local as well. The reality is that we have our own challenges, and I think the pandemic has revealed how many of those challenges are shared with other places that were active. COVID did not cause food insecurity in this country, but it has dramatically increased the numbers of people requiring food assistance. It's estimated 10% of Americans were food insecure before the pandemic. Now Northwestern University's research is saying that number is likely to double. Normally the breakfast and lunch that the kids would get in school, they're not getting it now. So yeah, it's very important that these groups come out and help. Rita Dunn is one of hundreds of community organizers around the country. CARE is matching up with local nonprofits like Christian Huang's food truck to get food to neighborhoods made all the more food insecure by the COVID crisis. What made it really special for us was that it made our work essential and it made us safe and operable during a time where a lot of nonprofits had to shut down because they couldn't bring people inside to the brick and mortar space, we were well positioned to be safe and outdoors and continue our services. Care USA is leveraging its domestic fundraising and foreign aid experience to help local charities in San Francisco and several other metropolitan areas distribute food as well as personal hygiene supplies and assistance to essential workers. The secret sauce of all of this uh, comes down to the local partnerships. None of this would be possible without the organizations that have been on the front lines, that understand the communities, and have been doing this work uh, for many years and in many instances. My people, my people, my beautiful people. Free lunch for the people, for the real people, for the community. Damian Posey, a local legend here in San Francisco's Bayview District, is helping CARE and Christian Wong's food truck connect with the city's neediest neighborhoods. His Us For Us network of teenage volunteers extends the food truck's reach by hand delivering hot meals to people cut off by COVID from other types of public assistance and food sources and living in the city's food deserts where fresh food has always been scarce and relatively distant. There are four building complexes, over a thousand residents, uh, a lot of families, a lot of elderly, a lot of shut-in residents. And then when I try to think of myself as a family in this neighborhood, there's not one restaurant, one grocery store. That's pretty bad. Families, uh, working poor, um, undocumented residents are by far the most that are impacted compared to the rest of the, the residents in San Francisco. Born and raised in India, Pretty Rani was well aware of CARE's humanitarian work abroad, but never thought she would be involved with it since she migrated to the U.S. Now, as the director of the City of San Francisco's Nutrition Services and Food Insecurity Task Force, she's relying on CARE's national agreements with DoorDash and other delivery services to get food to families that don't have access to city services, 
like they had before the COVID shutdowns. That connection to a delivery system like that really helped us uh, get food to people that were most in need. Like other major food banks around the country, the San Francisco Marin Food Bank has seen the number of families relying on its services nearly double due to COVID, which has also reduced the numbers of its mostly volunteer distribution network, according to its executive director, Paul Ash. It takes the, the food bank to do the larger scale distributions, and other organizations have a great niche to fill in terms of reaching populations that we may not be able to find. We don't have a food shortage problem. We have a, a problem of, of organizing our, our political system and organizing our government and organizing our nonprofit and, and charities uh, because we don't have a food problem. But that is likely to change next month in the absence of a new economic stimulus package to continue funding USDA food programs that account for nearly half of his food bank supplies which this neighborhood pop-up distribution point depends on. Is this food truck, this laundry truck, these deliveries, is this the new care package? I believe so. I mean, so our opinion is that the care package uh, really has evolved to being more about kind of the spirit and the generosity that we might share with one another. Um, the care package doesn't have to be in a brown cardboard box anymore. It's community members getting together and providing food parcels, providing gift cards for folks who may be on the front lines or who may be facing financial challenge. Christian Wong wasn't sure about how the first care package started, but he's certain that his offerings of Thai chicken curry is better, faster, and hotter than the original army surplus rations that started the tradition. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. In San Francisco, this is Mike Saray for PBS NewsHour Weekend.